Cactus and Succulent Growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, it's just going to be a very quick little video potting up my Mammillaria Elongata Copper King cuttings. And uh, about a week or so ago, I had to do an emergency um, rescue on my cactus bowl garden. And I managed to save three of these cuttings from the, the uh, Mammillaria Copper King. And if you didn't see that original video, then do go over and check it out. I'll link that video up above and down below in the video description. So um, I managed to let these callus over for probably, it's probably about 10 days now. These are the three that I managed to save. And it's a great way that I've been able to propagate them. And uh, you'll know when they've, they've calloused over and dried up because when you take cactus cuttings, you have to let them heal over for at least a week or two. It depends on the diameter of the cutting. Obviously, if it's a big, fat, chunky cutting, you may have to leave it up to three or four months before you can pop them up. But these have only got a small diameter, as you can see there, and they're fully calloused. I actually sprinkled a bit of a sulfur powder as well on the end, which is why they look a little bit white. <laughs> I put some sulfur powder on. You can also use um, cinnamon powder as well, natural cinnamon powder. It's just a bit of an anti-fungicide which has helped to stop any fungus or anything from entering once you've cut the cactus. So here we go, they've all callous calloused over and I've got two little pots. I'm going to pot two of them up together and I've got the, um, the grit here. Now because they're cactus cuttings they don't have any roots I'm just going to pop them up in pure grit and uh, then I will keeping them totally dry now until the springtime where I'll introduce a tiny bit of water just probably a little bit of a uh, bit, bit of misting around the, the base of them to encourage them to root in the springtime. Cactus cuttings will sometimes still root when you just pop them up over the winter and leave them but I highly unlikely these will send out any roots now until next spring. So I'm just going to pop them up and then just put them here in my grow room away with some of my other cacti that I'm sort of overwintering and then move them into the polytunnel when the spring arrives. So here we go, I've got the grit, I've got the pots and um, let's get potting up. So first of all I'm going to fill up these pots with grit about halfway. And uh, you want to make sure when you're potting up cactus cuttings that you just literally put them in, so, say for example this one, this Mammillaria, Elongata, up to about sort of like half an inch or so. And that's because the roots, when it does start to root, the roots will come out not only from the bottom, but also around the sides of the base of the cactus as well, around the areoles. That's where the new roots will come from. So if you just place it in there. And then make sure it's roughly in the middle. And then just put the grit all around. And I'm just using dry grit because, as I say, it's important that this cactus is kept dry now until the springtime. If I was to just go ahead and water this, then it hasn't got any roots. And a damp cactus, when it's through the dormancy period, such as now, will inevitably lead to... Um, just turn it around so you can see it a bit better with the light in there inevitably lead to rot and as I say I've saved these from rotting from my cactus bowl garden so the last thing I want to do is for them to rot again so that's that first one and then these two I'm going to pot up together and uh, good to form as I say it's important that they form a callus so um, you're putting the cactus cuttings in when they've dried over potting up cactus cuttings I will use cactus soil but I just noticing that recently I have better success with cactus cuttings when I just use grit because once they've taken root and you'll know when they have because they'll start to get new growth at the top there and um, as I say that won't be till the spring and then I can uh, introduce and probably pop them up from a later date with cactus soil so happy days and then just to stick the little labels in. Mammy Laria, Ilangata, Copper King. As I say, just a little speedy video today. That's it. Doing a few little cactus jobs I need to do. So I'll uh, 
thought I'll include that. So happy days. So thank you so much for watching and uh, do check out all the other videos on my YouTube channel for lots more cacti succulent videos. And if you want to know more about how to propagate cactus, then do watch this video here. I want to wish you all a fantastic cactus powered day. Bye. Bye.